What's up, guys? This morning we're going to the Panería de, uh, well, not there, Panería Hispana in Isla Verde, Carolina, Puerto Rico, which is here. So if you take the bus, um, you can get off right there if you see the bus stop and then walk over the bridge. But obviously most people will probably take an Uber or drive. So this is it. It's a very popular bakery. It's really huge. As you can see, it takes almost the whole block. It is gone. And you can get pastries to go if you want. This is quesito, this is pastelillo, and this is flan de queso. So yeah, sweet, sweet, sweet. What's up guys? So right now I'm gonna take you to this relatively new restaurant that's hidden in the San Juan Bay Marina. It's right underneath the Sizzler, kinda, but in the back. So if you take a Uber or whatever, you would come to Sizzler. I would say that's the easiest thing to say. Or maybe San Juan Marina Bay. You put it in the Uber or the Sizzler in San Juan and you come here, you get dropped off. But I just wanted to show you the surrounding area. It kinda looks like a highway, but it's not really a highway. I guess it's a freeway. And this is the Sizzler. And what you do is you walk take you through the whole walk and today is packed so this is as you can see San Juan Bay Marina and that's the Sizzler so you're gonna keep walking straight you're gonna see Olive Garden Longhorn Steakhouse keep walking we're gonna see all the boats. We're gonna walk through there, so you'll see all that in a minute. You're gonna see the Hyatt House Hotel, and that's the Sheridan. So you're gonna walk all this. So I guess if you take an Uber, it will probably leave you right here, the San Juan Bay Marina. Or if you wanna take your car, there's parking here. So, what you're gonna do is make a right here. This is a nice little park area as well. Maybe after you eat, you could take a walk. Nice little area you can take pictures. Maybe I'll show you after I eat. But right now, this is the entrance. Now, it looks like it's closed, but it's not. I guess we'll ask them to ring us oh yeah you ring the bell in is this i don't know Esto se abra. Perdón. Gracias. so they'll open as you can see and then you come in which is where you see all the boats and stuff this is where they work on them and fix them etc but yeah so what you're gonna do is come down here 
And this is actually the name of the restaurant, Pal, Pal Algua, which is to the water, basically. And then you walk down here. You can see people on their boats. It's a lot of boats here. And you're gonna walk straight ahead. I actually took a boat here with my friend Campos, which I interviewed, and you can see that on my channel. Look it up, the fisherman Campos. Here it is, here it is. Hey, Cangrejos Yacht Club Tournament. May the 20th, in the year 57, here in San Juan. And I caught a blue marlin weighing 430 pounds. It was a big tournament. I mean, it was a big fish on a little trophy. <laughs> and he took us so I can film La Pella from the water. And it was <laughs> quite an experience in that little boat in the rocky waves. So yeah, you just keep walking, keep walking. You're gonna pass the jet ski tour. And this is it, Palagua right here and right now they don't have indoor dining and this is where you sit because you take pictures with your date your friend your family and just have a good time and that's it this is palagua pier 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 this is the menu so i'm gonna order the deep fried red snapper regular with tortones you can also jet ski rent a jet ski as you can see and they parked them right here. This is a patelillo de huellas which is a, like a patty, a crab patty, but they have different versions. They got chicken patties, they got with fish, they got with shrimp, they got with uh, octopus, uh, all kind of stuff, you name it, they got it. And uh, it's like dough rolled up and then they take a fork at the edges, as you can see the deep and then they deep fry it. It's a popular uh, delicacy here in Puerto Rico. And I'm gonna show you the inside in right now, actually. This is the inside broken. And you can dip it in, what is it? Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Whatever sauce you want. Let me get a closer look. So as you can see, these are the fried totones, which is fried plantains, and this is the red snapper, fried, deep fried, look, even the eyes are fried, wow. Let me get the water in the background. This is the fish right in the water, and we got it right here. So right now, what I'm gonna do is cut this little guy up. And when you cut it, you can put some lemon juice, you know, squeeze your lemon on top. This kind of food you eat sloppy. Now when you finish this, you're not done. You gotta flip it over to get the meat from the other side.
<laughs> and just like that, thumbs up. Dinner is all done. Now we're gonna walk to the little park area that I was telling you about earlier to show you. Beautiful sunset. If you come around 5.30ish, the sun will start going down and you'll get a beautiful sunset from the marina. Look at that big fish. And you get out the same way you came in. But when you get out, you don't have to ask them to open. You just press the button and it'll let you out. So when you get out, if you make a right, you can just walk on the grass or go around, but since there's only car, there's really no walkway, I cut through here. The airplane, the, what do you call it? The airport, there's an airport here, but it's for those mini planes not the big you know okay so this is called Distrito del Centro de Convenciones de Puerto Rico so it's a little area where you can walk around ride your scooter as you can see they're riding there over there see it looks really nice and clean and like i said you have the hyatt house and the hyatt place and this is the sheridan hotel here you go water area Nice relaxation. Let's run across the street. So this is another water area for you to relax. If you see over there, there's some tables where you can sit, eat, talk. really nice and that's the convention center behind the Sheridan there's a bank over there it's like a little I wouldn't call it a mall but it's a little area with the bank the movie theater restaurant see this is really nice Palm trees, flowers, grass. Little kiosk. This is a nice little, let's walk up there and see it. See, so you got all this. nice area and that's pretty much it so you can just hang out of here after you eat or just come whenever you want and get some pictures taken good photo shoot area because there's not a lot of people so until the next vlog peace
Right now we are in Miramal about to check out this new restaurant called Casita Miramal that the Uber driver mentioned. It's supposed to be like a restaurant that looks like a house or something like that. This building's pretty cool. So, we're walking over the bridge and it's like right around here somewhere. I'll show you Miramal another day on another tour. This is nice. Some of the apartments, the balconies are closed in, like this building has most of them closed in with gates or glass. This is a nice building. Miramal Lima. This is Casita Miramal. Looks really cool. Let me get the sign. Nice ambience. the menu that's so cool the way they have the menus so i do have some uh, chef specials for tonight as well on the third side i have a veal shop smoking the oven for four hours then uh, sealed on the grill and it comes up with the uh, half chin chili. Fish oh wow! Very nice, thank you. This you can take, dip in the broth. Pretty good, and I'm not even a fan of this. I know. <laughs> Bathroom. Oh. Oh, you slide it? And then you lock it. <laughs> nice. This looks really good. Your camera.
How is yours? Wow. And what is this? Oh, shrimp? Mm hmm Creole? Creole. Well, I'm pretty much done. I am stuck. I can't even move. What's up guys? Right now I'm in front of one of the best Chinese restaurants, if not the best Chinese restaurants in Puerto Rico. Granted, I haven't ate in all of them, but I've ate in, in quite a few. And this one is just amazing. And it's called New Taste and it's on Condado, Ashford Avenue. As you can see, this is Ashford. Ashford is down this way and it's called New Taste Chinese Food and Sushi right next to bubble tea smoothie now they're the both same places this is the menu of the restaurant so let's go in now you got to walk down this parking lot and the entrance is right here look you got the little buddha nice and zen and you know this is the bar area, restaurant, so this is the indoor portion, or you can go outside and eat in the outdoor portion with the lights and see the people passing by or whatever, and jogging, walking. And as you can see, the rice is nice and fresh and fluffy. I personally like the soy sauce that's on the table because it just has a different flavor if you ask me. And this is shrimp tempura. Look at that. Nice and shrimpy. Mm, mm, mm. Steamed dumplings. And just like that, food is gone. So right now we're in front of Bebo's Cafe on Calle Luisa. As you can see, this whole long street is Calle Luisa. This way, it's right next to the flag house and the little makeshift library. Now this is one of the most affordable, delicious restaurants in the San Juan area. You can get a dish for $7.99, rice, beans, meat, whatever it is that you desire, they have it here. So we're gonna go inside and show you a little bit. Food was good. This is the flag house. I want to give you a closer look of the flag house. And the makeshift library right next door. You can come at night or during the day. It looks really nice as well because it's all bright. But even at night, as you can see, it's pretty crowded. Grab a book on your way out and you know just or if you want you can leave a book as well so right now we're gonna go to 1950 puerto rican cuisine now i have to show you this because this is the main entrance to 1950 and the wine and tapas bar but it's closed during the COVID. So 
what you do is come into the Zucchito and you enter through here. Thank you. And you walk through. Nice place, ambiance. TV. And you go to the back. Nice mirror of wine. And you go up the stairs. And this is the indoor portion. This is the bar area. It seems like this is like an old concert poster. Oh, it has this... fun. Huh? I mind. Oh, see. Uh, uh, Gracias. Uh, really cool. So yeah, it looks like it's an old concert photo because it says come and dance, Benny Balal, and persona in person, Ismael Rivera. And it says, Friday, May 12th, 1979 at 8 p.m. And this is the outdoor portion. A lot of plants. Has the streets from old San Juan. And this is Ashford Avenue, right across from the Marriott and CVS. Pretty dope. So, this is the brick oven pizza. Margarita. Ah. I don't know if you can hear me biting into it, but it's burning, but it's Delicious. Now this is actually a size small and it's pretty big. It has six slices. So it's good for a little snack or maybe even a dinner between two people or whatever. The bigger ones, the medium is eight slices I believe. And I'm not sure they have a large, but mm -hmm. I wanna show you how flat. That's why it's called brick oven pizza. Nice and flat and crispy on the edges. And it has basil, Parmesan cheese. I know your mouth is watering, but you gotta come to Puerto Rico to get it. And another cool thing about this restaurant is it's pet friendly. So you can bring your dog. And this right here says, remember, if you're accompanied by your dog, you get a 10% discount. So that's pretty cool. You can have your dog and you get a discount. Well, just like that, it's gone. It was really good, crunchy enough, but not too crunchy, cheesy. I would give it a solid eight, maybe even a nine. So 
there you go. Until the next vlog, I will catch y'all later. Peace.